Okay, we're still talking about differentiability and continuity. And what we're going to do now is look at several examples of functions. And for each one, we'll just discuss very briefly whether the function is defined at a given point, whether it's continuous, and whether it's differentiable at that point. And if you're taking notes on the printed page, you can sketch in each function and then just put a little check or X in these boxes, as the case may be. But the first one looks is going to look like this. We'll have a function that looks something like this, and we'll call this point C right here. So is it defined at C? Yes. Is it continuous at C? Yes, it is. Continuity means a, a, a very simple, intuitive way to understand continuity is that a function is continuous if you can draw it without lifting the pencil up off the paper. So it's continuous at point C, but is it differentiable at point C? No, it's not. It has to be smooth at the point to be differentiable, and that one is not. Example two, you can draw this in, a function here that has a hole in it. At that point, is the function defined? No, it is not. Therefore, it is not continuous and not differentiable at that point. Number three, draw in a function with a hole here. And that's point C. But there is a value right there. So is the function defined at C? Yes, it is. It has a Y value, whatever the height of that hole would be, or, or that, that dot there. So it is defined. Is it continuous at C? No. And so is it differentiable at point C? No. For number four, our point C here is going to be an asymptote. And um, that should be an asymptote there as well. Is it defined at C? No, it's not. And so it's not continuous and not differentiable. Number five is another graph with a hole in it. And be careful, here's point C. Is it defined at C? Don't let your mind be drawn right to the interesting part there with the hole. Point C is over here. And the function is defined at C and it's continuous at C and there's no cusp or anything going on there as far as we can tell and so it's differentiable at point C. Graph 6 looks like some kind of absolute value function or some variation on that. And point C here, is it defined at C? Yes it is. And is it continuous at C? Yes it is. But it is not differentiable at that point because it is not smooth at that point. Graph number seven I have looking like this. And point C is right here. So is the graph defined at C? Yes, it is. There is a discontinuity there, but at, at point C right here, the graph does have a value, a Y value. But it's not continuous, and so you can't find a, a derivative at that point. Number eight, we have a graph with a vertical asymptote and a discontinuity here and a cusp. And we're asked about point C. Is it defined at C? Well, there's uh, all kinds of things going on on this graph, but at point C, the function is defined and it's continuous and it's smooth right there. We're near this cusp, but not at it. So at point C, it is continuous and smooth, and it is differentiable at point C. And graph number nine has a horizontal asymptote, and then a cusp right here. And that's the point we're concerned about. It's defined at that point. And it's continuous at that point because I could draw this graph through that point without picking up my pencil. But there's no derivative at that point because it's not smooth at that point. In these next examples, we're told to sketch a graph that meets certain requirements. And in this case, we're told to sketch a graph that is differentiable and continuous at 2, 5. So really, any graph that goes through the point 2, 5 without any strange behavior going on there is fine. So it could just be a line, it could just be the graph y equals 5, it could be um, 
could be you know a parabola that that goes through that point or something but anything like like this might be y equals x squared plus one for example any function that goes through that point uh, in, a, in what we would consider a normal manner would be differentiable and continuous at that point. In number 11 we're told to sketch a graph that has a limit as x approaches 2 but is undefined at x equals 2. So that would be a graph with a hole in it. There is a, a y value that we get close to as we get close to x equals 2 but we can't actually get to that y value because there's a, a hole in the graph. It's undefined at x equals 2. In number 12, we're told to sketch a graph that has a value at x equals negative 1, but no limit. So we could have a value at x equals negative 1, but no limit if we had a step discontinuity there. So any kind of graph there where there's a gap. You can see at this x value there is a y value because of that point right there. But there's no limit because the left and right limits are different. Number 13, sketch a graph that is continuous at negative 3, negative 12 but not differentiable at x equals negative 3. So over here at negative 3 and uh, down here at negative 12. The graph needs to be continuous there but not differentiable. So if we had a cusp at that point and any grasp with a cusp at that point would satisfy those conditions. It can, it's continuous at that point but not differentiable because it's not smooth at that point. Number 14 sketch a graph that is differentiable and continuous at negative 3, 2. So at the point negative 3, 2, any graph that goes through that point in a smooth fashion, it could just be a straight line, but any point going, any graph going through that point in a smooth fashion would be differentiable and continuous at that point. If it's going to be differentiable at that point, it has to be continuous at that point. Number 15, sketch a graph that has a limit at x equals negative 1 and has a value at x equals negative 1 but is not continuous. So at, at x equals negative 1 the function has to have a value and it has to have a limit but it's not continuous. So this would be a graph that had a hole in it at negative 1 but then also a value but off of the what we would think of the main course of the graph there. At x equals negative 1 there is a y value but it's a discontinuity at that point also. So there's, it's not differentiable at that point. Number 16, this is pretty easy. Sketch a grasp that has a cusp at the point 2, 8. So it just needs to have, have a cusp there, that's all. And you should understand that that, uh, that particular graph is continuous at this point but has no derivative at that point. And number 17, sketch a graph that is differentiable at the point 3, 2, but is not continuous at the point 3, 2. Hmm, it's differentiable, but is not continuous at 3, 2. That is not possible. If it is differentiable at a point, then it must be continuous at that point. As we say, differentiability implies continuity. So you can't make a graph that is differentiable at a point but is not continuous at that point.